React Native provides a convenient little handle for cross-platform status bar management in the form of the status bar component. So let's take a look. Here we have a simple React Native application and you can see that the status bars are already visible within the different platforms. Now we bring in the status bar component provided by React Native in order to control the status bar within our app. We can render it anywhere within our application and it's not actually going to render anything. Its props are simply going to be used to control the status bars that are already provided by the different platforms. So rendering it like this by itself is not going to have any effect, but we can use props to customize it. And one of those props is the hidden prop, which when set to true, hides the built-in status bar. Of course, we can provide it the value false and the status bar magically reappears. Notice that the theme of the status bar is different on the different platforms. By default, on an iOS device, it is dark and on an Android device, it is light. You can actually customize this by using the bar style property. The default value is the string default and that has the same effect as we saw before, but you can also set it to be explicitly light content to have light on both platforms. And with this set, you can see that the status bar icons and text is light on both platforms. And alternatively, you can explicitly set it to dark content. And now you can see that the status bar icons and text is dark on both platforms. Now we've already mentioned that you can mount the status bar component anywhere within the tree. And additionally, you can even mount it multiple times. And what happens in that case is that the props get merged. And in case of any conflicts, the props from the item that was rendered last, normally lower within the tree, override any of the previous ones. And this is actually a good thing. So let's take a look at an example use case. Our app component in this case consists of a simple state machine. Here we have current view, which can either be search or item initialized to search. And then we have a simple utility function called on item select, which sets the current view to be item. In terms of a rendering of the app component, we have a root level view, which has a child status bar initializing the style to be dark content. And then if the current view is search, we show two buttons, which are wired to on item select to move us into item view. And then we have the item view component that takes an on exit prop to take the user back to the search view. Now the item view is actually going to follow an alternative black background and white foreground text theme. The contents of the item view are going to be pretty simple. It's simply going to be a safe area view with some lorem ipsum text and a button that is wired to take us back to search. Now, right now the application is in search mode. So we see the two buttons to take us into item views. And if we click them, the item view pops up, but you can see that even though we did not want the status bar to be hidden, it is actually getting hidden because of that black background provided by the item view. Fortunately, the fix is pretty simple. We can add a status bar component whenever the item view is present to override the bar style provided by the parent component to be light content. And now you can see that as the user navigates between search view and item view, the status bar is always visible. And that's all that you need to know in order to use the status bar effectively within React Native. Check out this other lesson on React Native as well if you are interested. Smash that like and subscribe to support this channel and I will see you in the next one.